Hey, hey! It's Mike from Mixpix Visuals. Uh, we're back again. Sorry for the delay. Been busy. Uh, today we will be covering uh, animated particles, animation and particle systems, uh, and more spe specifically, texture sheet animation. So, what that would allow us to do is to have a particle uh, animate like from one state to another to another to another during its during its lifetime like for example if we had this uh, this uh, sheet of letters we would uh, at, the, at the emission of the particle in the be beginning of its lifetime we would uh, have the A texture and then we would move on to the B, C, D, E, F, G, F, H and I I've chosen to do it with the letters uh, to start off with just to show the the principle behind it <laughs> there's no I, I can't really see the application where you would want uh, particles shaped as letters. I think it's easier if I show you what I mean. Um, so we're gonna start off with uh, the scene we used in the last tutorial. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's covering um, uh, hidden parameters in particle systems. So what we will do is we will uh, create a new material for these particles and we will assign it a texture uh, and then we'll apply this material to the, uh, to the particle system. Let's start with going to our project. I've already created a material, uh, but we can do it from the, from the beginning. Uh, so let's uh, right-click, create, and then material. And we get a new one, and we will call it um, texture sheet animation mat. That's short and sweet. Uh, let's change the properties of this because we don't want to shade the material. Uh, we want it to be a particle material. So we go go down in the drop down menu to uh, to particles and choose additive. I like additive. Uh, it makes stuff glow and shine and be pretty. Uh, then we will assign a texture for this. We will take the uh, the 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 letters we had in the Photoshop document document, and we either we can uh, select it from another window, which you will not see. So it's better if we just drag the texture we have onto the inspector component. And there's our material. It's an additive material with uh, with a lot of letters on it. Uh, so to apply this material that we just created to our to our particle system, we scroll down in the particle section. Uh, this is usually collapsed. Uh, if we open it, render up, we get the option to choose a uh, material. So what we'll do is we'll drag the material we just created and uh, drag it over here, and that looks. Super weird, of course. Now, why is that? Uh, you might have seen this. I, I, I saw this like uh, when beginning to play with particles in Unity. Uh, if you try out the, for example, the the flames materials, you know, like oh, but I want flames. This isn't flames, uh, and you're not really sure what's going on. Uh, and I'm here to tell you what's going on. So. What we want to do is we we got this uh, sheet and we want to split it up into into pieces of nine. Is that how you say it? Into ninths of of, of the whole picture. So what we'll do is uh, we should restore this to the way it starts off by being at uh, this looking like this. Let's disable the color of a lifetime to show it more prominent. Uh, so now what it does is it animates. Uh, from this, it starts at A and go, goes to B. You can follow this one C, D, E, F, G, and then they all go all the way up to H and I. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically the thing. Uh, as I said, maybe you don't always want to like have particle systems consisting of letters, um, but your imagination really sets the bounds. But this is a useful tool for it. Uh, and you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. What what is also good for it is if you want a if you want a particle system, but you want some variation in it. Um, like if you have a if you have a fire and just have one sprite of uh, flame, it'll look. Uh, you, you'll see. You'll notice. The eye will notice that it's repeating, uh, and it's the same texture constantly. Uh, so what you can also do with this, except for ha having them animate over time, is if you, uh, in here, in frame, o frame over time, if you click the hidden parameter uh, arrow, which I talk about in um, my previous tutorial, 
uh, you can select instead, uh, for, for instance, random between two constants. Uh, now it's a lot of A, A, um, but what you can do is you can set the start frame to the end frame, and our start frame is zero, and we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters, so our uh, end frame is nine, and then it will choose randomly between uh, all these uh, sprites. So it'll give us like a cavalcade of uh, different letters, uh, and uh, again, you don't really want maybe A's and B's and C's, but uh, if you have like um, if you have sprites of flames that look slightly different, you will get a much more uh, lively looking, uh, for example, fire or any particle system that you want really. Um, and now that we, I also wanted to show you a little more complex. Uh, advanced uh, usage of it than the than just animating from different letters because it's so choppy uh, that it's it's very notable that it's just sprites switching between sprites. Uh, so what you could do is you could uh, create a more complex uh, sprite sheet with more more sprites in it. So what I did was I I created some kind of a thing <laughs> like. Um, more of a morphing uh, between uh, between uh, sprites uh, to create some interesting effects. Uh, I colored it white just to for, for it to be more flexible when I put it in Unity, and I can color it however I want it. Um, that's a good 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 best practice to do uh, because you can't color anything that's black. It's already black. If you have if you import it white, uh, it's 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 flexible. You can color it any. Any color that you want um, but so we'll, we'll, what we will want to do right now is we will go in and we'll use the same material uh, that we had earlier uh, but we will just change the texture of it uh, so I already imported my curls sheet which I called it and I will drag the texture onto the material to to select it to assign it and then we will have uh, uh, this which looks like if you've seen transformers it looks like what's going on in sandwich wiki's head um, and that's not pretty. Uh, and why does it look like this? You might ask. Uh, and my answer for you is now it's no longer three by three. Now it's six by six. So we will have to change our our setting in the uh, texture sheet animation. So we choose uh, the tiles parameters and change them from to six by six. Uh, so now what we have is we have a, a selection of curly worms. Uh, that's not what we wanted. We wanted it to to animate so we'll have to switch back from the random between two constants uh, to the curve and we will select uh, a straight linear curve like that and that produces some uh, some interesting results I'm thinking maybe it's uh, it's some kind of a larva or, or uh, worms in water um, what we could do right now, because it's still really choppy, because we uh, we have a lifetime of between six and nine, so let's say nine. Uh, oh no, let's say six, uh, and we have thirty-six. So it switches three times per second, uh, which gives us a pretty crappy frame rate. So what we could do, just to show you um, a more smoother transition, is uh, you also got the cycles parameter here. Uh, that says and now it's one so we will just go lo loop through these sprites once per lifetime and uh, Imagine if I put two it will do two and three and four and five and whatever and now it's it's more of a fluent movement uh, It's not really optimal because I just drew something really quickly uh, to to show it to you uh, But it looks kind of cute Kind of psychedelic actually uh, Yeah, cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, you you could do that. Uh, that that's also an example that you could do with the with the flames. Like not just have different uh, different flames spawn in the same particle system. You could of course do all of this the variation with uh, with multiple particle systems which have uh, separate materials that use separate sprites. But it's much uh, you have much more control when you have it all in the same particle system. Uh, yeah, I really like these guys.
Let's try putting on the color of a lifetime again. That's interesting. Maybe it's uh, uh, maybe it's the grated cheese in uh, low gravity. Anyway, um, yeah. So you can have those uh, those flames animate like animated flame. Yeah, you, you get. I, I think you, you get what I'm trying to say. The possibilities are endless. Uh, I've talked way too much already, um, but. This is a texture sheet animation in particles basically explained. Uh, you can mess around with, uh, uh, with, uh, yeah, you can do anything with this. Uh, mess around with uh, how many cycles you use. Let's try to top this up and see if we crash. That's, that's just horrifying. <laughs> All right, uh, let's bring it back down to five. Uh, the, yeah. Yeah. You can also switch between having, like, random between two curves and stuff, but uh, that, that's a little, uh, that's a little too much for, for right now. That's one shiny reflection probe. Uh, if you're wondering why I have all this, sh uh, why it looks so, so shiny and bloomy, it's because I have a, uh, screen space bloom, uh, active in my scene. But I won't have that in. So yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay. It took a while. I've been busy. And uh, next up, we will be talking about uh, not particles. I think next time, I think we'll talk about render textures and how to set up a basic render texture and what is a render texture and why do I want a render texture in my Unity project. Uh, subscribe to see when I upload that clip. Uh, please comment below if you have any questions about this. Let's start a discussion. And yeah, also comment if you if you have a, an idea for a tutorial that I can make, uh, and I will try to get that done. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.